All right, so you're considering making a move and you're thinking about buying new construction. Well, in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the top five areas that have the most new construction available in the greater Tampa Bay and Sarasota areas. And as a bonus, I'm gonna share with you the top five areas that I get phone calls about. If we've never met before, my name is Juan Alcala. I'm a licensed real estate agent and I help people just like you buy, sell, relocate, and invest in the Tampa and Sarasota areas. And we make videos that are all things Tampa Bay, what it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. If that kind of thing interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that little bell. That way you can be notified every time we make a new video. All right, so the first thing that we have to do is we have to define what new construction is. And you know, maybe in your mind, new construction is you're going to go into the builder's office, you're going to put together uh, your wish list, and they are going to break ground for you and, and get going. For others, they might define that as you know recently built. And the way that we typically define newer construction, newer, um, is you know anything built in the last five years, that's basically a new construction home or a newer construction home. Um, and again, it really depends on your personal preference. A lot of the times, um, people actually prefer to get a home that's been lived in for a few years. And the reason being is because it typically will shake out any issues that it's already had and the builder will have come back and take care of those. When you buy a new construction home, you know there are a lot of things that come along with that. Yes, you're getting brand new, but you're also getting a home that is untested. <laughs> and these homes necessarily aren't bad, but it, you know if you follow the news at all, you can see some issues that tend to pop up with newer construction home. There typically is like, you know, settling with the foundation and you'll get cracking in the walls, you know, nothing crazy, but you know, a little pop here and there, nail pop, or, you know, the tape comes apart underneath the drywall and, you know, things just aren't perfect. So what typically, you know, what I find is, is a really good value as a real estate professional. If, and if I'm in the market for new construction, I'm buying something that's two to five years old. That is the sweet spot. And again, the reason why is because you've shaken out a lot of the challenges that come along with that property. Now, now that we've defined that, I want to talk to you about the areas that are really exploding here in the greater Tampa the Bay and Sarasota areas because listen you all know um, basically everybody knows and if you don't I'm, I'm informing you now that you know this area has exploded over the last three years you know with the work from home uh, situation and just people taking early retirements you know Tampa and Sarasota have absolutely just boomed our population has exploded and it is a great place to live and there's no wonder why people want to come here and there are a lot of new construction homes in the area and that's what I want to share with you guys today so we're gonna dig into these numbers right away first thing I want to do is I want to talk about the counties where people are moving and I want to talk about the numbers that that um, that are in those counties in terms of of available new construction homes at this time. At the time of this recording, Hillsborough County, which is where, ta where Tampa proper is, there are 1,158 new construction homes available on the market. That is that is by far the most out of any of the counties we're gonna talk about today. The second largest is in Manatee County, and that area is going to be Parrish, Bradenton, beautiful area there as well. Number three is Pasco County. Now this is to the north of Hillsborough County, on the northern suburbs of Tampa. At the time of this recording, there are 786 new homes available for purchase. Uh, to the south, we have Sarasota County, which has 696 available homes. And number five on that is Pinellas County that has 257 new homes available. Now, Pinellas County is where the Gulf beaches are, just so you guys um, you know, get a little bit of bearing there. That's where St. Pete and Clearwater is. This area is pretty well established. And and if you're going to build new construction here, you have to tear something else down. So it gets really expensive, really fast, <laughs> you know, when we look at these. But the areas that I really wanted to share with you guys today are the top five cities that people call me about or the top five areas that, that get a little bit more refined. You know, we just talked about the top five counties, but I want to talk about the top five areas because these are the ones that make, you know, our, our viewers and, and people from all over the country and outside of the country, as a matter of fact, call us, uh, you know, when they're looking at new construction 
instruction and I want to share with these with you in no particular order outside of the fact that we're going to start from the top of the Tampa Bay area and work our way further south. I think that's the best way to do it. All right, so the area that I get the most phone calls about, the number one area that, that I get the most calls, reach outs, emails, DMs about is none other than Wesley Chapel. Okay, now I've done videos on this before. Please check the description down below. You can check out the entire um, Wesley Chapel video we did. It's, I can't believe how many phone calls come from this video. And for good reason, you know, at the time of this recording, there are 267 new homes listed. You know, you can get a townhouse in Wesley Chapel right around 273,000. This is new construction that we're speaking of. And the the single family homes right now, the most expensive listing is uh, 2,465,000. And that, you know, these properties, when you start to get up into that price range, I mean, you're overlooking a lagoon or water and, you know, you've got a pool home. It might be 5,000 square feet five bedrooms these things are absolutely stunning y'all they're incredible but one of the things that is a real big draw about Wesley Chapel is you've got so many amenities right there at your fingertips and you know Wesley Chapel is known for the Epperson Lagoon it's a seven and a half acre lagoon literally the theme is we're bringing the beach to the backyard it's white sandy beaches it's incredible uh, less if you don't mind putting the video up here showing these guys what that lagoon looks like it is unreal you've got to check this thing out and um, it is if you're a resident of the epperson community you have direct access to it your hoa and cdd fees um, include that membership there is public uh, availability but it's really small because they want to make sure you as a resident have access to that there's also the premium outlets over in Wesley Chapel. There's movie theaters. There's just so much. There's an ice rink there for goodness sake. Everything you need is right there at your fingertips and it's no wonder why we get so many calls about that area. All right, number two on the list is Odessa and you know there's an area in Odessa called Starkey Ranch which is, which is the number one master plan community in all of Pasco County which is where uh, Wesley Chapel and Lando Lakes are as well. I mean it's just absolutely stunning and the thing I found unique about Starkey Ranch uh, when we when we toured that area and did the video out there was they I think they've done one of the best jobs at making the community feel like it actually belongs there a lot of the times when these new construction development come in they tear down everything they remove all the trees everything they just just you know make it dead flat and then they put you know landscape and trees around it but in Starkey Ranch, they did an excellent job of keeping all of these beautiful old growth oak trees and th there's already water and it backs up to, you know, thousands of acres of community land and, you know, there's so much green space out there and it's just absolutely stunning and it's no wonder it made this list and no wonder why people call all the time and at the time of this recording, it doesn't have the most. There are only 43 new listings out there, but this is one of the most desirable areas and, uh, you know, right now you can get a townhouse out there for three hundred and eighty thousand dollars, and um, the single-family homes currently the the most expensive one, and I was actually just in it this week, uh, was listed at one million two hundred and fifty-nine thousand dollars. Again, stunning home, five bedrooms, you know, four thousand square feet pool, you know, on a cul-de-sac, just an incredible area, and it's beautiful. So no wonder why so many people are calling about Odessa. All right, number three on this list is Lithia Fishhawk. Now this area is actually a little bit more well established. It's to the east of of, of downtown Tampa by about thirty-five minutes. Um, gorgeous area, and uh, it's got some really high, highly rated schools. So did Odessa. So does Wesley Chapel. You'll find a theme here. Um, you know, it's a very coveted area, but you know, uh, the Fishhawk area was built, you know, in the early 90s and, and mid 90s. Um, so they needed a place to go. So they started really building out east of there and southeast of there in Lithia. So you'll find places like Hawkstone. We've done an entirely vid a tire video out there. And that's an in incredible community as well. The thing to know about Lithia is it's a little bit more remote. And um, when I say that, you know, Odessa is remote too, but it has access, you know, it's 20 minutes away from the Costco and Wesley Chapel there it's it's not the boonies but Lithia feels that way even though it's not when you're driving to it depending on whether you're coming from the north side or the south side um, you know on the right side of the road you're looking at all new construction homes beautiful developments on the left side of the road you're looking at farmland literally so it can feel like it's it's kind of out there as a ways 
but you know Hawkstone in particular uh, that and we'll get to a specific property here um, you know the the nearest Publix is three and a half miles away it's 12 minutes it's not the end of the world to go that to a grocery store and the community that we were just touring this week you know there's a thousand homes planned for that development they've already got a few hundred in there and before you know it I'm pretty sure by the time that that community wraps up they'll be a Publix closer because that's just the way <laughs> their stores work man they're incredible being on top of it but right now in Lithia there are 42 new homes listed you can get a townhome in there for three hundred and fifty thousand one hundred and sixty dollars and the the most expensive single-family home out there is one million two hundred and sixty one thousand seven hundred and forty three dollars and I was in this house yesterday a beautiful home it's a Virginia Park model uh, by homes by West Bay incredible pool overlooks uh, water uh, all oak old growth oak trees behind it no community is going to be built behind it was just it was stunning um i definitely loved that property 10 foot ceilings i mean dude, it was just phenomenal all right number four on our list is parish florida and we just recently did a video here and i'm telling you right now there is new construction everywhere here. Um, and we are getting a lot of phone calls in the area as a matter of fact as I was sitting down preparing to to record this video I got to reach out on Instagram um, and oh by the way however you got to get hold of me whether it's phone call email text message DM on Instagram you know do not hesitate to reach out all of my contact information is listed down below there's even a link to my calendar where you can schedule a time to jump on a zoom call and we can talk about these areas or new construction if you're considering building or buying in the area so didn't want to lose sight of that. But I got to I got to reach out. He's like, "Hey, I'm considering making a move down to Paris. We're coming in April. You know, really like the video. Can you can you help me out?" So, you know, at the time of this recording, there are 335 new active listings available. So, that's a lot. And, you know, this area is one of those spaces again, it felt really remote. I mean, even 3 years ago, there for me, there wasn't a whole lot of reason to go down there. And it's not that it's a bad area. It's just off the beaten path a little bit, right? But if you like the suburbs and you're not interested in being in the beach, this is a wonderful the community to, to really, you know, to be in. Um, it's got access to the Manatee River within 10 minutes. You know, it's not far away from St. Pete. We're talking about, you know, 40 to 45 minutes with traffic. Um, nothing crazy. You can have access to it. But it's a beautiful community and there's a lot to offer in Parish. You know, right now, um, a, a townhome there is currently listed at 359000 uh, I saw a single family home brand new construction three bedroom listed at 349,000. Um, so that is a great price. And the most expensive single family home currently listed is listed at 1,070,990 beautiful homes. I mean, there's a lot to offer and that's a wide range. And, you know, they they do have access to amenities. They've got the gym, they've got the Lowe's, they've got all the things that you need there, but they're definitely not as well established as a community like Wesley Chapel or Lithia Fishhawk. You know, they, they've got room to run and they are absolutely building like crazy out there. All right, so number five on this list is Lakewood Ranch. And this one is probably the, what I would call the most prestigious. And when I say that, um, I just mean it, it's very, very highly coveted um, you know this area is definitely more expensive um, it costs more to live here on average and we'll get into some of the numbers here in a second but I'm telling you right now Lakewood Ranch is a stunning master plan community and if you don't know what that is think of it this way what Lakewood Ranch is technically like this corporation and what they what they did was they they knew what they were building before they ever started in the entire community and I don't know about you, but where I'm from, whenever they built a new neighborhood or a new subdivision, it was always like separate from anything else. It didn't feel connected. It wasn't part of the other communities around it. And it, you know, while there are beautiful homes and, uh, you know, nothing wrong with that, I just, I never experienced what a master plan community was. And the thing about this, this community is all of these neighborhoods were, they had already been planned from the get go. And with that in mind, even though they were gonna scale over time, they've always been designed to be connected to each other, to be lived to, with each other. And Lakewood Ranch has these you know, these incredible areas, you know, down on Main Street and um, Waterside where 
they do these community events that you all have access to and you have access to other amenities in different neighborhoods because you're a member i'm sorry because you're uh you know a, a resident of lakewood ranch and it's incredible and it's definitely something to take note of we you know we get a lot of calls about lakewood ranch and you know the thing that, that typically will happen is people will reach out and you know they find out real quick that lakewood ranch is not an uh, inexpensive place to live and then maybe they downshift to an area like Wesley Chapel which is a little less expensive um, not a whole lot but definitely gives a little bit more flexibility and as I share these numbers with you you guys will see it here but at the time of this recording there are 329 uh, new homes listed in the Lakewood Ranch Bradenton area um, townhomes start from 359,990 and single family homes currently at the time of this recording, listed at five million four hundred and ninety-five thousand, <laughs> and that's a beautiful home in Lake Park, which is a gorgeous community. Um, it's offered by Stock Custom Homes. It's like a six-bedroom, six-bath, sixty-six hundred square foot plus. You know, it's got a pool. It's backing up to a. It's unbelievable. There are some absolutely stunning properties in Lakewood Ranch in all of these areas. And I hope you got value out of today's videos. If you are considering building or buying anywhere in the Tampa Bay or greater Sarasota area, do not hesitate to reach out to me and my team. We'd be more than happy to help. And as discussed, we have videos on every one of these communities that we will link down in the description below. You can also leave a comment do, down there. Do not hesitate to reach out. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.